Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this logo animation effect. I'm going to be doing it in After Effects. So to start off, we are going to click on our image and pre-compose this image and name it logo here. So you can place any logo here and then move all attributes into the new composition. And this is a logo I found off the internet. It's an Illustrator logo. You can also use PNG logos. And I'm just going to recenter this in the middle of the composition. And I'm going to go to Effects. Go to Perspective and do the Bevel Alpha. And do the Edge Thickness to around 7. You can do whatever you'd like. And the Light Intensity to like 0.8 or around there. 0.85 I did and we're gonna click on the logo and we're gonna go effects again generate and then CC light sweep and then we're gonna find where this light sweep starts and drag it all the way to the left side And we're gonna do the direction. This one is gonna be vertical, and it's go for, gonna go from the left side to the right side. As you can see here, left to right. So first we're gonna go the width. You can play with these how you want them to. I'm just gonna do 180, 110, and whatever you want for the edge intensity and edge thickness and color. So we're gonna bring this to the beginning and we're gonna drag that to the left side. And then we are going to go to the center, click that, and drag it one second away, and click it to the right side. This is gonna make the animation go from the left side to the right side as seen here, right there. So after we got that done, we're gonna make another one, so we're gonna cut or duplicate that. Click off the center thing, move the, the that to the beginning and then we're going to do our second one so our second one we're going to drag to the top make that direction horizontal so it goes from top to bottom go to the beginning of the time frame press the keyframe and then we're going to drag it one second in we're going to drag this one second in and we are going to go to the bottom just like we did in the first one and this is gonna make this sweeping effect makes that logo look nice and clean we're gonna close them up now and we're gonna go to the logo and generate or effect generate and then gradient map this is gonna make uh, different make it a different color this is the color that I wanted you can do anything to your logo. And I'm just showing that here, how that looks with the new color, that metallic look. And you can change it to any color here. I change it red, but any colors you want. And after we're done with that, we're gonna close that up. We're gonna click on the logo again, and we're going to duplicate this. We're going to rename this one Vegas. This is the color or the animation that we are going to be using. It's called Vegas. And we're going to delete the effect controls at the top. And we're going to click on effect controls or effects, generate, and we're going to do the Vegas animation. Segments we turn to one. And then we go to the image contours we open that up and this is very important you have to do this in order for it to turn up but you have to turn the channel intensity to alpha otherwise the color will not show up and then we're going to change blend mode to transparent and that's going to just leave that transparent there then we're going to click on vegas again layer and auto trace this is if you have a png image this is what you are going to do you're going to do layer auto trace and it will trace the outside in my case i have the illustrator image so i do not need that 
Next, we're gonna go to the Vegas and click Alt Rotation. And that's gonna bring up this, and we're gonna click, or we're gonna type in time times 200. 200 is just the speed, so you can do 300, 100. The speed of this, you'll see in a second, the speed of the, the lines right here. I think that's a very good speed. You can go slower, you can go faster. And then we're gonna change the width to around five. Again, you can do whatever you like. I like to do the midpoint position a little lower than it is at 0.5, so 0.4 maybe, 0.4 or five. And color, I'm gonna do white. Again, whatever you'd like. And you can mess it then controls too. So then next we're gonna go a second in, we're gonna click the stopwatch for width, go over what, half another second and change it to zero or in this case 0.5 as low as you can go. And that just makes it fade out at the end. And another thing I forgot to mention is I added three glow effects to the Vegas animation and they were all in white. Next we're gonna go effects, blur and radio fast blur. And we're gonna change that to 32, you don't want too much blur, and brightest. Next we're gonna duplicate the Vegas and change that color to light blue. And then we're gonna right click blend mode screen. And then we're gonna duplicate that Vegas if you want a different color, another color. I'm gonna do three colors, white, light blue. And then for the next one, I'm gonna do like a greenish color. And it's gonna make a in it's gonna make a color in between light blue and blue, and you can do any colors you want for these. And you can also change these Vegas things to any side. Or you can move them just a little bit and it'll make two colors. Next, you're gonna hit the logo here composition. You're gonna click the T button to bring up opacity. You're gonna go to the beginning of it and put zero on the opacity and then a second down, put it on 100%. And then also drag that whole time frame one second over. And then we're gonna click on all the Vegas and click T for opacity. Drag it right to where that logo here starts. Turn on the keyframes. Put them at 100 and put the opacity at zero about another second down. We're also gonna click and go keyframe assistant, easy ease. We're gonna highlight all of them keyframes. And make sure that's just on the Vegas ones here, not the logo here. Then we're gonna drag the Vegas ones to the right a little bit, Vegas keyframes. And that's gonna make it look like this. So you can either do that or you can go to the beginning of the Vegas keyframes and put them to 0% and then put the logo here keyframe, start that at zero and start the logo here, end it at 100%. That's gonna make the logo come in at a slow pace. And then we're gonna go to the end and make them 100%, the Vegas keyframes, because we want it to transition into it. And the middle keyframes in Vegas, put them to zero. And there we are. So here's the final product of what I made today in After Effects, the logo animation with the glow effect on the outside. Makes your logo look nice and clean. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a like and follow for more.